Hi, it's Rebel DeFi here. Today I will be bridging over some DYDX tokens I have on Ethereum over to the new DYDX chain. As part of the Orbital Command validator team, we'd appreciate you considering Orbital Command as your validator if you're going to be delegating DYDX tokens on the new DYDX chain. Just looking at a Twitter post from the DYDX Foundation, they're saying if I want to learn how to bridge, I can read their handy how to bridge guide. So just clicking into this guide, it's got a summary of all the steps that I need to complete. The first being to visit the site bridge.dydx.trade. So I'm going to do that. Now I came here a bit earlier and had a read of the terms of use and the privacy policy and I do agree. So I'm going to click that and then continue. Just looking at the next step, I need to connect a wallet holding ETH DYDX to generate a DYDX chain address. So let's connect that wallet. And I'm going to use MetaMask. Generate a DYDX chain wallet. That's what I want. So I'll sign this transaction. Verify wallet compatibility, another transaction. Okay, so now I've connected my MetaMask and I've also generated this new DYDX chain address. Just checking on the instructions. So step one is complete. Step two, enter the amount of ETH DYDX that I want to migrate. So I don't have a ton in this wallet, but I'm just gonna send everything I've got and then preview this migration. Now it's telling me here that my balance on Ethereum is going to go from 8.6636 down to zero as expected. I'm going to get a receipt token wrapped ETH DYDX and this is going to be on Ethereum and then the actual DYDX tokens are going to arrive on the DYDX chain. So preview this migration. Okay so there's three things in this timeline. Ethereum settlement up to 12 seconds Ethereum finalization up to 20 minutes and then DYDX chain settlement up to 40 hours. So I'm going to have to wait up to a couple of days or just a bit less than a couple of days for my tokens to actually arrive on the DYDX chain. Okay, so I'm going to approve allowance here. And that's my MetaMask again. Custom spending cap. Yep, that's fine. Click next. And there's my gas fee there, not too bad. And I'll just approve that. So we're thinking here, just go back to the steps so I know where I am. Enter the amount of ETH DYDX, done that. Choose a receipt address to migrate. Choose a receipt address to migration on DYDX chain. Maybe that should say migrate, interesting. Um, Let's see where we are. Okay, I understand it may take up to a couple of days. I understand that my ETH tokens will be permanently locked. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna confirm this migration. So I'm essentially sending the tokens to this new address. Confirm migration. And there we go, gas fees. So I'm going to confirm. And this is just giving me an update of what is going on here. Finalizing the transaction. My transaction on Ethereum has now finalized and it looks like my DYDX chain settlement has just started. Um, I can go and check this pending migrations, see if I can find my transaction. Okay, this is really handy. I can just click mine. Excellent and it shows it just there, saying I might have to wait one day and 11 hours. That's really cool that it's got this filter to easily find my transaction. And just go back to this migration section, check status, I wonder what this does. Okay, so the check status basically brings me to the pending migration section that I was just at. And then this address here matches with my address there. 
So I'll make another video once these DYDX tokens from Ethereum arrive on the new DYDX chain. Just going through a summary of the steps that I completed, I first of all went to this website bridge.dydx.trade, connected my MetaMask, entered the max amount of ETH DYDX that I had, that was the amount I wanted to transfer. Obviously I didn't have to transfer it all at one time. And I choose a, or I chose a receipt address, which was the new address that was generated, and previewed the details, authorized the wrapped ETH DYDX smart contract, confirmed my migration, and finally checked the status of my migration. If you've got any questions, comments or criticisms about what I did today, please let me know down below. Thanks.